Hey guys, Tanner here. First day back from Hawaii. We've been at it since 8. What time we get at 8.30 this morning? It's, uh... What time is it? 10 minutes till 7 right now. Let me flip the camera around. I swear I just, I swear I just fell a sprinkle of rain, but... We've got the dump trailer full. Where we had all this old busted up rock. Look how pretty all them shelves are that we've got down in there. Matt and Drew's got the waterfall basin and the skimmer box all leveled up. We got the line ran and plumbed. So up here from the return looking down, it's gonna have some nice shape to it. If you guys will remember, if you've been following along, this is just a straight guitar. One of the most basic done DIY ponds I'd ever seen. I'll see if I can step down in here real quick and show you the shape and some of the drops we've got for. If I come in here, you can kind of, you can see how much that's curving away from that now. So that water is going to be dumping out there. There we've got some multiple smaller drops. I'm going to have a pausing point there. The water is going to build back up to pull over to hopefully have a lot more power coming off of that main drop into here. Of course everything will be flowing towards the skimmer box we've been able to really add to this berm here which will smooth off later and have it not so steep just like it's always been and tomorrow we should be able to begin rocking i got to get all this stuff hauled off and uh stay tuned guys should make a lot of progress tomorrow as long as it don't come a storm pondartist.com guys Hit me up on my cell, 423-503-0512. So, Matt and Drew and myself just finished getting the underlayment down. We're getting ready to put the liner down next. So I just want to give you guys a shot of what this underlayment looks like, along with uh, what Matt Freitag looks like. Say hello, Matthew. Hello, Matthew. Say hello to your friends. <laughs> We're over here again, the boulder attachment hooked up right now. Give you guys a quick shot. We've got the liner in. We've got a couple rocks started going around here on the bottom here in places. And we're getting ready to start setting some of these larger boulders that we've already dug places for. Stay tuned. So right now we're pulling all these boulders in place. We've got six of them or so in place already. You might be wondering why we're not using that boulder attachment because that boulder attachment is a piece of shit. So if any of my friends that build ponds for a living were thinking about getting that boulder attachment for your uh, mini skid steer, do not waste your money. It is a piece of shit. The, the rubber things they sent me, as soon as we put them on this morning, we went up to pick up the very first rock. They ripped to pieces just like I suspected that they would. Uh, my buddy that I got it from told me to try it out. We did. Do not buy the boulder attachment. So, I'm so pissed off about that, I can't even stand it. Buy a machine that nice and those attachments, then have an attachment that, that is completely useless. But my buddy Justin said he's gonna make it right. I'll take him on his word that he is gonna make it right. And uh, I got faith in him that he will. Yeah, that's a heavy one, dude. I gotta get over here and help him get this in place. We're putting this one right here, stay tuned. reason we're having to use those straps like I was telling you just so that my buddy can see this too well, I'm telling you guys these are brand new they sent these to me from Vermeer as part of this purchase look we didn't even get to pick a rock up that was going to pick up the first boulder rip both of those rip that third one right here like I said this piece of this right here this attachment anybody is wanting it for boulders unless you're just picking up tiny stuff that you could be picking up by yourself don't waste your money on one of those. Get something that's got the claw on it or just stick to using some kind of strap method just like we've been doing forever. And of course it's picking all, it wasn't at the machine, can't pick them up. This machine can pick up any of this stuff. He just moved that full pallet right then right before I turned this camera on. So, like I said, it ain't the machine. It's a piece of crap attachment. Stay tuned, we got one more big one to put that I've got dug out for right there. 
and it's about to come a heck of a storm. It's thundering like crazy right now. I mean, I don't know what it is about Tennessee lately, man. It's, God, it's, not, it's raining more here than it rained in Hawaii. Stay tuned. Get it, Drew. We're getting ready to load the, the mini skid steer back up. Just gonna show you guys real quick. I'll start out from this angle down here. So got a long ways to go. Really like the texture of that rock right there. Look at those grooves looking at you. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've got all eight large boulders set in place. Rock mats under every single one of them, minus the three that are not on the liner. The five that are, of course, if you look close, you'll see rubber matting underneath every single one. Extra protection against puncturing that liner. When we get everything else stacked up around and up to those big ones, it's going to create a very natural look. I love how it looks whenever you mix the river rock along with the mountain stone. The colors collide and I just, I don't know, I just like it. So check it out. This is what we got today. Remember when we got here, we didn't even have anything in the hole. So progress for today. All the geotextile underlayment is down. All the liner is down. We've got to finish that seam tomorrow. All the boulders are in place. And it is starting to rain now. Let's get this beast loaded up. And let's call it a day, baby. Stay tuned for more progress tomorrow. Pondartist.com. You know how to get a hold of me. 423-503-0512.